Cece Winans, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Blessed of the Lord. You got a new CD out, and I'm really excited about it. We're going to get to it in a minute, but let's let's go back a little bit. How did you come to Christ? How did I come to Christ? Yeah. Wow, I came to Christ in church. I was blessed to be raised in church, yeah. with mom and dad. And uh, so my earliest memory of, of accepting Jesus, I was probably about eight years old. Okay. And you know, but when you grow up in the church, it's like you backslide. Every other week. Right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Get <laughs> back but, up here. But I would have to say the age of 12 is when you begin to really make decisions, mm. for at least for me, Yeah. to to stand for righteousness, you know. Um, but I accepted Jesus as a kid. I love it. Now, you mentioned your family. How have they influenced you when it comes to music, the outreach? Uh, what's the mark they left on you? Oh, my goodness. Well, my mom and dad both sang. Yeah. And... Um, they raised all of us, those people who don't know who all of us. <laughs> I don't know who doesn't know. <laughs> but, but, but my mom and dad had seven boys first, okay. straight, and then I was the first girl and I have two younger sisters. Yeah. There's ten, ten of us, uh, Winans, and we all sang. And we were raised in the church, and that's where we all started singing. you know. And so my brothers, the Winans, formed a group called the Winans. Right. And, um, and they started recording before I did, so they definitely had a great influence on us. Before before any of us started recording, we all used to do like family concerts in Detroit, Michigan, that's okay. where we grew up. And uh, my parents um, saw something in us, and they started promoting us and uh, encouraged us to give our talents to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so I have to give them all the credit. You know, they understood the importance of raising us in church and also teaching us the importance of giving our gifts to the Lord and using it for His glory. All right, the word on the street is you guys will do concerts, and after the concerts, you give out awards for the best singer, <laughs> uh, the person that had everybody <laughs> shouting, whatever. Is that the word on the street? <laughs> That's the word on the street. Is that true? Uh, well, I don't know if we did it every concert, but, you know, growing up with a family, that many people, right. that you can't have your own award shows. So right. we definitely had those. <laughs> and, uh, and then growing up with a big family as well, your skin has to, it has to be thick mm. because we're going to tell you if you did good, and we're going to tell you if you did do good. I love that. I, I, I think that's you a know. blessing. Uh -huh. Alright, so I talked to Natalie Grant uh, this is a couple years ago, and she said when she was a kid, uh, you know she's a contemporary artist, oh, you know Natalie amazing. Grant. She is just amazing. She said when I was a kid, amazing. I used to stand in the mirror with a hairbrush and pretend like I was C.C. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Wow. Wow. And, and I just love her ministry, and, uh -huh. and uh, you've impacted so many people. What's the secret to your crossover appeal? My crossover appeal. Yeah, black, um, white, Latino, Asian, everybody loves C.C. Wines. Well, I just, I love Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, and that's crossover. Yeah. You know, um, and and all, all I can say is that God has just opened up doors and allowed my music to go places that I didn't know it would go. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I can't take the credit. A lot of times people look at everything that you've done and accomplished sure. and they want to sure. know, who was your manager? How did that happen? I'm like... Mm -hmm. God was my manager, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just being ready when the doors open to 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 walk through them. Yeah, yeah. You well, know? what I've noticed about your ministry, it isn't just um, ABC one two three at water. This is how you do it. There's an anointing <laughs> on you, and uh, it seems like that's of utmost importance. Um, how did you get this anointing, and um, is this something you must have in every concert? Um, God, God gave me the anointing. Mm. Um, he gave it to me at a very young age. I mean, at least I realized that I, I think all of God's people have an anointing. It comes with worshiping Him. You know, if He's if He's number one in your life, then it's going to show up. Mm. Mm. You know. Yeah. And and when He shows up, then things happen. Wow. You know, and I and I realized that at a very young age that. If I showed up and he didn't show up, it wasn't going to work. No, you not know? at all. Not <laughs> but, at all. But if he showed up, then then people would be delivered. They would be blessed. They would be inspired. Mm. You know, and so that's always that's very important. It's always been the most important ingredient in everything that I've done mm. is to have the spirit. Well, I love that. Um, we talked about family earlier. Mm -hmm. Now your son produced. This CD, is that right? I did. What was yes. it like having your son uh, being in the driver's seat? Wow, I had to die to flesh. <laughs> 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 oh 
Oh my God, to have your son telling you, no mom, that's not right, do it again. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I was singing before you were thought of. <laughs> but uh, it, it was awesome. It was yeah. awesome because I knew he had a gift um, from the time I, you know, since he was a baby. So um, it wasn't hard for me to, to really listen or mm. hear him because he, he's gifted to, mm. to write and to produce and, and he has an ear. That I respect. So, yeah. so, but it was it was still kind of weird, you know, to have him take hold of this mm -hmm. whole project because actually he got the vision for this particular record about six years ago. Really? Yeah. And he said, "Mom, I got an idea of how you should, you know, do your next project." And I was like, "Oh, really?" You know. And it took him a minute to convince me because it's very it's it's a different sound for me. Mm -hmm. Um. But but it's but it's exciting. It is. Once I got it, oh yeah, I got it. But it took him a while. If he was here, he would say, "Oh, I was probably the worst client ever." <laughs> but um, but when I got it, I sure. was excited about it, you know. And so, and I've been blessed throughout the whole process of working with Alvin um, because through this process, I've just seen God's faithfulness to every generation. Mm. Mm. You know, this generation is is better than the last. You mm -hmm. know, and and as a mom. All you pray for is that your children will get it, that they yeah. will fall in love with Jesus, mm -hmm. and that they will be better than what you've ever been. All right, so the title uh, cut is Let Them Fall in Love. Yes. Um, I've listened to it. It reminds me a little bit of He's Not on His Knees Yet, as far oh, as the, the thought. Sound. Yeah, okay. the sound and also the, the thought. thought. Yeah, I just, uh, about that. Okay. yeah, yeah. I just, I just want people to know Jesus. Um, yeah. I know that's, that's very big for you. Um, why why that song, and uh, why is that so important for you? Well, when we started talking about the record, I started, this is, that's probably the only song that I wrote a little bit on, mm. um, but I knew that I wanted that to be the title cut of the record. I just knew I wanted it to be title. It makes sense. After, after being away from the music industry for a while, um, I just, I prayed and I was like, Lord, I just wanted to be impactful. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted to really stand out. It needs to really count. And that is my prayer, that when people hear this project, that their hearts will be turned towards the Lord and that they will fall in love with Him. Mm -hmm. Because that is the secret to life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, that makes there sense. There is no other secret. There is nothing else that really matters. Mm -hmm. All right, the, the cool thing is that we're not alone. Jesus promised that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the, the, the song that's out right now. That's yeah. what they're pushing right yeah. now. Uh, for that person that's listening right now and they do feel lonely. I'm saved, I'm sanctified, Holy Ghost feel, yeah. got power from on high, yeah. and yet I feel I'm on my own. What do you say to them? Well, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. Sure. This is not a, this is not a relationship that you always feel, but you can know and have confidence that um, the Word of God is true, mm. and that because He promised He'll never leave you, then He won't. No. He's there. No. And if you keep walking, if you keep your head up, if you keep confessing His Word over your life, then things will change. It's going to get better. So hang in there. You're not alone. God is already... The thing I love about serving God is that nothing takes Him by surprise. Amen. It doesn't matter how devastating the news is. God is not shocked by it. It doesn't make Him nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, He's already made a way of escape. So you're not alone. Keep your head up. It's going to get better. I know that's right. Why me, Lord? Uh, that song right there. I just closed my eyes, bowed my head. I like Chris Christopherson, you know. Yeah, uh, really. I like that song. Where did you guys, where'd you get it from? Why'd you decide to do it? You know what? Um, that was my son telling me what to do again. It's a great song. Um, it's a great arrangement. Great song. And the reason why it even came to mind is that I was asked to do that song for Chris Christopherson. They were going to honor him. Ah. And they asked me if I would be a part of of the tribute and so I said well it depends on the song you know what you're talking about so they sent me the song and I, I was like wow this is a powerful gospel song I had never heard of it before I missed it I didn't know that Elvis Presley recorded it yeah. and Loretta yeah, yeah. Lynn right, right. and that it was a huge country song country classic right and so when I started learning it uh, for this tribute uh, Alvin heard and he was like mom we were talking about doing a remake this is the one and I was like now, you, now I'm going country <laughs> <laughs> but you cross over so well <laughs> churchy churchy song I don't know <laughs> it's a country music. I wasn't you ready like for that one yeah right Ray Charles, that'd be awesome. um, 
But when I heard it, it's a powerful song. It's mm. a powerful song. And and it's funny because I was getting ready and I finally learned it and I was ready to do it. And then I got sick. It's like I got a cold and I couldn't even talk. Mm. So I couldn't even do it for the tribute mm. record. And But Alvin had already said, let's, let's try it for the it's record. And I was like, you know what, let's do it. And we went in the studio with the with the choir and the background. I mean, it was just amazing. All right, hey, I got a bag with me, and uh, in, in my bag, <laughs> you have a bag, I have a bag. Okay. I've got I've got some. Oh, some, uh, you going back? You got to go way, go way way back. All right, yeah. I got the CC throne room. Oh, I got the uh, purified. purified one. I love that. So you you've got a lot of longevity. But yeah, also, I've been doing this a long time. You've been doing this a long time. So then I went Very into my time. attic and. Oh uh, my god! Oh 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 my god! All right, I'm having you the sign planes, floor, right? the airplanes. This That's is the, the Lord lift us up. <laughs> <laughs> we should have named it the Lord help us. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was the that was our first CD. We I'm gonna recorded. have you sign in a little while. I don't know if I'm gonna we'll sign. Yeah, you need to sign that. <laughs> that. That's legit. Hey, we love you. We thank God for you. Thank and, you. And um, you come back to Moody Radio anytime. Now you hear? Yeah, yes. got it. <laughs> come on, let's show us some love here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Where's my phone? I love it.